questions of music for me was um, a group of people that I fell in with in uh, in Kingsville, um, you know, who really kind of I felt embraced and like, okay, this is a this is a fun community to be a part of. And it was the metalheads at the time, and it's you know, always the watching metalheads. the metalheads. But they're you know the good people, and you know um, they had they had a lot of music going on. Um, guys like uh, Ben Guthrie, oh, yeah. uh, Jason Henderson. Um, you know, uh, Brad Dupie, these guys, old friends of mine from long ago, and they were playing Metallica covers of Megadeth and doing their own. And um, so that's when I was like, I need, I need, I want, I want to play something. And if you want head is back playing again. Yeah, yeah. You know, those guys were in the in the early days and the other bands that they had, um, Mike Edwards too. Yeah. Like you know, that was kind of inspirational to me and got me to okay, I, I want to have a drum set. I want to I want to play. But I, you know, really between the ages of eighteen and twenty five, I was a bedroom drummer strictly. Yeah. You know, and it was only in Windsor when I finally started playing with people and kind of pushing and beyond. How did the drum kit get to you then? Like was that like? You... It was actually my stepfather had an old Ludwig kit that I. I gave to me or I bought from him or something that I played in a barn when I was in Kingsville yeah. for a little while. Um, and then, you know, to be honest, I'm not sure. There's some periods in there, some some hazy periods. Where I'm like, <laughs> like, I know I didn't have a drum set there. How was I playing? How did I keep that up at the time? Um, it's weird, eh? You just find a way sometimes as a kid. Yeah, it's almost like it's, you know, it's almost not entirely conscious. You know, I, I imagine there's a conscious element to it, but the fact that it just kind of is pushed along and maintained through the years when so many people, I can't do that, I don't have the time, I don't have the energy, mm -hmm. somehow I man managed to maintain I it. I became so. a punk rock drummer because I had spent, when I wanted to be, like when I was five years old, I wanted to be a drummer. I had like one of those Muppets animal drum kits or whatever that yeah, my yeah, uncle yeah. bought me to annoy my parents. Yep, yep. And I bashed away on it and I wanted to be a drummer. My parents brought me uh, to go get music lessons and they convinced me to go do piano or guitar first. I hated it and put it away because it wasn't what I wanted. And then I like floundered for years. And then I was like 17, 18 years old and met a bunch of kids that were like in a punk rock band. Yeah. And I'm like, I play drums. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> right? And uh, they're like, yeah, we, we need we need a drummer. I'm like, oh, well, yeah, I can do that. And then like went back to high school to the music teacher was like, um, can I sit behind that kit? And that was, and then we found a kit and, and went like that. Which is amazing. You find it's, a way, right? Yeah, yeah, you find a way and it doesn't, um, you know, uh, you acquire the skills as you develop, <laughs> as, you, as you move along. Fake it till you make it. it yeah, 100%. Kind of the, you know, the way of... Um, yeah, so it's it's super interesting the way we hold on to these things throughout um, throughout life. And yeah, I didn't know you were in a punk rock band. That's oh awesome. yeah, yeah, I got, yeah. In the early '90s, well, I used to I used to play with like the Legger Lads and, and those mm -hmm. guys. I was, uh, I was in a band called oh, yeah. uh, Mayhem United, yep. which uh, Luther Luther, Luther, Luther Harris, yeah, 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 Luther yeah. and and Paul, uh, the original bass player from uh, Legger Lads, uh, were founding members along with myself and uh, a female guitarist uh, named Jill Bishop. Uh, and uh, our lead singer was Lauren, and I can't remember Lauren's last name right now, and I'm so sorry. She's moved. She's like a kickboxer in Thailand now. She's like incredible. Like it's 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 nuts. Lauren, Italian woman? No, she. Italian? Uh, I don't. I think I, I I may actually know this woman. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I yeah. think I I think. Anyways. Yeah, and and anyway, so yeah, like we we did that, and I I played in other bands with like uh, teenage or uh, <laughs> radioactive schoolgirls. Uh, yeah. I love these names. The yeah. Lager Lads, the Radio. Oh yeah, Lads. man! Like punk rock, <laughs> punk rock in the nineties. Punk rock in the nineties in Windsor was fucking awesome. Yep. Yeah. It absolutely. was awesome. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. that was my for me. It was. I looked around and like we were the outcasts of the outcasts. Like even the punk rock scene didn't want anything to do with us. Oh, nice. Right. So like <laughs> we. <laughs> so like I got to. I was always this. Uh, sorry, I'm turning this about me, but like oh, I was. Cool. I was always this this like outsider kid, and then I found this group of like outsider kids, and I was like, oh, punk rock. Okay, all right. Yeah. What is this thing? And like. Got exploring it and like all of a sudden I'm getting introduced to like the fucking exploited and the misfits and what this fucking noise like Seven I'm a radio oh yeah and, 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 and yeah, yeah Black Flag and Henry Rollins and then you start and then I started listening to like Jello Biafra doing spoken word oh, and then Henry yeah. Rollins started doing all of his spoken word stuff like that and I was just like what is this yeah yeah. Like this is what they do. Yeah, then you realize the the very political elements of yeah. music and punk rock, which is you know um, marginal marginal, so has its own political perspective. Which mm -hmm. I, I love that. But music, like you know, what I think this to tie this all together, music is community. 
really, in yep. many ways. Hey, whatever community you f happen to fall into, music is community, and that is has always been a kind of, admittedly, a driving element for me too. Because in places where you're implanted and you don't know anybody or anything, music is a foothold. It's a community that yeah. you will be a part of. That'll do it for this episode of the ABB Podcast. Don't forget you can subscribe to our full audio episodes on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or anywhere you find your audio podcasts. The full episodes, highlights, and our live off-the-floor performance videos can be found at our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at the AVB Podcast. Of course, you'll find links to our incredible sponsors and this week's guest in the description below. The AVB Podcast is part of the Border City Network. Find more great content at BorderCityNetwork.com. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.